Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? As you can see, we are back in Big Pharma. So yes, Big Pharma is the one that won the vote last week. Now, what I decided to do was carry on from the save that I did last time. And before I do that, um, my... Uh, the, the, the question I asked you last week, or the games that I gave you on offer last week, were Banished, um, which is the medieval builder type game. Uh, Don't Starve. Big Pharma, which was obviously this one, Fortress Craft Evolved, that's kind of like a Minecraft crossed with um, Factorio, but more similar to Minecraft than Factorio, and then Shopkeep, which is a game I played ages ago, just about running a shop. Um, the new games... world event. Ooh, we have a new world event. Right, the games that are on offer for next week are going to be Banished, which is the Builder uh, Medieval game. Uh, Factorio that we played last week, Spin Tires, you know all about that one, Craft the World, that's the um, the dwarf ones, which is it's just the 2D, uh, the 2D game that uh, we have the dwarfs going around and doing various different building tasks and stuff that we just started a few weeks ago, and then Fortress Craft Evolved, which is another one we haven't played yet. So you've got those five on offer, it's your vote, it's your game, head in the comment section down below, let us know which one you want and why, and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. So what is this New World event? Uh, as such, a number of new cases of ADHD has started to fall drastically. Right. Strongly to a popular artificial sweetener and altered brain development in young children. Right. Uh, okay, just excuse me a minute. Okay. I record this with headphones, and uh, the headphones got a, a built-in mic on them. And I suddenly had a really, really itchy ear. <laughs> I had to do something about it. And I can't really scratch my ear without really distorting all of the sound and everything. So I had to go and deal with that. Um, my ear is now scratched. So we are back in business. Now then, at the moment, we are actually making £97 per day. Each time that it moves, each time that you get something go through, there's actually one day gone by. And what we need to do is before the 1st of January 24, another seven years, we need to earn a total revenue of £6 million. Now, if we can get a lot more, we get rank expert, rank master, and so on. So this is actually an objective game. You, we, we do have an objective that we have to achieve while we're playing this. Um, you can just do free play where you just have everything's unlocked already, and you just go for it. You just play whatever you like. Um, but we're not doing free play. We're doing uh, this one here. Now, we could fit quite a bit if we bought that room there. We could fit quite a bit into there, so we could get some new stuff going. Um there's a great big one and what else we got and then we got a couple more huge great because i think we're actually going to go for this one uh because we'll be able to do like a couple of bits in here before we have to um before we need to do any upgrades and one of the things that you can do with this game is you get the ingredient and you bring it in and then you can upgrade it so you've got all of these different cures these are all the different ones we've got um at the moment and so, like Treats Angina, you can then upgrade it to uh, reduce stroke risk, or we can do the Combat's ADHD. So, the Combat's ADHD is actually less demand for it now because of the, the, the link that they found. So, we could do the Treats Angina, um, and we got the Easy's Asthma. So, at the moment, what we've got, um, if we go to our company over here, this is the ones that we've got at the moment. So, we've got Sooth's Cough, which is a... Well, we don't actually sell any of these at the moment. Because we improved it to that one. So the cure rating is C on that one. Current profit, 65. Um, and then we have the antidepressant. We have the relieves hypertension. And we have one that treats angina. So we do already have... Oops, I don't want to do that. We do already have something that treats angina. So we... That's... Uh, which is... It's probably this one here, isn't it? That one there. Angina catcher. That's the one that we've got there. So the next upgrade that we can do is upgrade to the autoclave and that reduces stroke risk so we could try that one or we can go to the cough one and the cough one the upgrade on that eases asthma now we don't actually have an asthma one do we what's this smile improver and that is an antidepressant so we don't want that that's uh we can remove and then that one upgrades to combat adhd so no what we're going to do is we're going to bring we're going to buy this room here you, you do sort of have to plan things out a little bit with this. And that's kind of that's one of the things I like. I like these types of games. This one is Factorio. There's another one around at the moment that has not long been out. 
um, where you run a car factory and you, you've got to um, sort of build and design all your different cars. And that, I think, would be quite entertaining to play. It'd be good fun. Now, at the moment, we don't have any new drugs being discovered because I've got no explorers. We're making 95 per day at the moment. I'd kind of like to make it so that we stay in profit all the time. It's very, very difficult to manage it so you stay in profit, especially when you start needing to do your upgrades. But at the moment, so we want the Soothes Cough drug. We want to bring that one, so we're going to import that one. And that's coming into there. So our very first task is we need to um, upgrade. Pre-requirements are 8 to 11 in concentration and then you upgrade it with an agglomerator. So what we've got to do is we've got to increase this up to eight first. So the very first thing that we need is a basic and we want the uh, agglomerator which increases concentration by three. So if we put that Loan one down. Repaid. Loan repaid, oh ideal. That's actually uh, absolutely brilliant because now we've gone up, look, see we're already we're at 200 per day. So we can go back to ingredients 246. The loan repayments that we were making were quite high. So we can get, I want to look down here. We need three explorers to unlock those and those. And that's four and four and that's five. So for that one and that one, this is, a, that's a three point catalyst. So I want that one. So I need three explorers. That's what I'm going to have to get. So I want to hire three of them. One, two and three for 150 a day. It's, it's 15,000. For the initial hiring of them as well which is not great but i'm going to send all three of those straight out to get that one there so we've got the three point catalyst catalysts are really important you'll see about those a little bit later we may even get to that in this episode but right now we want to put that onto a belt on there and then right so this item is going to go into here into the agglomerator and that is going to take it up to a concentration of eight and it's going to come out of there and then in order to upgrade it so now you can see the pre-requirements eight to eleven have now been met so then we can upgrade it with the agglomerator and um, so we need another agglomerator and i'm going to take that and i'm going to put that one down there and you've got to try to work tidy with this you really do need to try to work tidy um and well by tidy what i mean is you, you want to try to sort of stay in tight to the edges of various different things that like the walls and that so you've got room to fit as much machinery in as possible because sometimes you really do need to put in a lot of machinery now that is upgrading to easy's asthma and we can do that we could do that over in here somewhere could we have we got enough room to maybe do that over here no we don't we've only got one coming in but we don't have any others um to upgrade again we need a two point catalyst and the problem with this room is there's only one in and one out so we can't bring in any extra drugs and that is going to be a major issue with this room so we can't do anything else with that um product we're literally going to have to keep it on ease's asthma so maybe in hindsight buying this room was a complete waste of money um and the ease's asthma what we want to do now is we want to find out what the best concentration of it is so we'll take that one and we go to move Oops, no. Move there. And I'm going to drop that one down there like that. And then I'm going to take a belt and I'm going to drop it into there like that. So that's going to start going into that one. And it's going to start telling us what the optimum concentration is for easing asthma. The drug that we've got here narrows pupils. We cannot remove it. No matter what we do, we can't remove that. Uh, so that kind of stays on there. There's nothing that we can do about that. But we're not going to worry about that. Right, so the next thing that we're going to be doing is I'd like to try to upgrade again. I mean, this one, we can upgrade to treat, treat bronchitis, which would be pretty cool. We need a two-point catalyst to do that. Now, we've got these are all profitable over here, so we don't really want to interfere with any of our little uh, projects that we've got going on. So we're going to want to upgrade again. We're going to want to buy a new room. And this one over here will allow us to bring in three. Uh, we can bring in two ingredients and sell one which is a good start. Disappointing about this room. I should have thought about that before we actually bought the room. Um, the fact that you've only got one coming in. You, you cannot get more than the one drug. I don't think there's any way to upgrade it so you can Im import an extra uh, thingy on there. If I go to paint, can we go onto there? No, you get different colored belts that you can use and you can have different color pavings and stuff. Um, centrifuges and hadron colliders. Analysis but complete. You don't have anything else. Right, so the analysis complete. Eases asthma. Right, so we can take that one there and we'll move it over there out the way. 
this particular drug here, we want to reduce that by four points. It's currently, uh, max strength is seven and the current is 11. So we want to reduce that down by four. So if we go to basic and we go to an ionizer and we put one of those, should I just ro rotate that one around like that? There we go. And then I want to get another one to reduce it by one more point. That is a dissolver. That one will go right there like that. And then we want makers. Now we can have that increases the strength of all effects by 25%. This one here increases combined value New by 30 for available. each. Another loan available. Each uh, positive effect in the drug. We don't want that. Increase combined value and reduces the strength of negative effects. So we, we are going to want the cream for this rather than the pill printer. So we're going to take that one and that one's going to go there. The reason that we want that is because if you look here, we got the narrows pupils. It's not a major side effect, but it is still going to be one. So we want something that will reduce the side effects. And that is the cream machine because the other ones, if you have to take a look, they don't actually, oops, when you do that, they don't actually reduce the side effects. The syringe injector increases the strength of all effects by 25%. Now we could do some upgrades on that later, but we're not going to be able to do that. That increases combined value for 30 quid for each positive effect in the drug. Now you do get, you will combine drugs later. So that's really good later on, but it's not something we want now. So we, we just need something that reduces the side effects. And that's what we got right here. So now if I take a belt, I put one belt on there. I put another belt onto there. And a then, competitor has released a new oops. product. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Let's bring that round there. Okay, we'll do it like that. There. Okay, so now that's going to go through and we have a perfect Eases Asthma drug. The value of this current profit, £104. So if we go through here to here, hang on. Yep, there we go. Right, now current profit, £104. Raw material costs 43 processing 129 And that's not bad. So that should, as soon as that actually goes in, we'll go back into positive production again. It's not going to take very long. Move down here a little bit. And then we can see about buying up some more property. We may take out a loan in order to help facilitate the uh, that moving up pretty quickly. Iroxin Cream. It, it amazes me how the game you comes up with all these random names. You have released a new names. product. Released a new product. Right. Frithgar, Bre Frithgar Breathe Buddy. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. The Frithgar Breathe Buddy has now put us way back into profit. Look at that. 168 it's because we were spending so much money the reason our profit is going up so much is because we were spending a lot of money on all of these processes without actually getting anything back at all we're now getting 260 per day coming in because of that which is excellent so we're going to go here and we're going to go and we're going to buy in some more of the sour phyrixonide mist so that we can do our next piece. So we're going to go up here. That's at 94%. That's nearly done. When that's done, we'll then be able to start... What else have we got? Causes headaches. Uh, removes warts. Antidepressant. Soothes cough. Soothes rash. Uh, and then... What's that? Prompt sleepiness. Relieves hypertension. So we're not going to worry about those. We're going to go straight for this one. We can upgrade later and it basically it reduces. You get a 10% discount. You get these um, percentage discounts coming in, which are really useful. So we're going to leave those three there while they accumulate a few points. And then we can reduce the cost of this. We want to import that one there. And so our first task is in order to upgrade, we need to go for, uh, to 8 to 11. And it's currently 7. Uh, no, currently 5. Currently 5. Um, active range and max strength upgrade yeah so it's exactly the same as what we did just now isn't it so uh, we want to go to an agglomerator and if I put that one there like that then I could put no I can't put that one there I don't want to block up that door either so probably the best way to do it would be just like that I would say and get a belt drop one there and one there Get rid of the belt. Right, that will go through. That is going to upgrade that one to 8. And then this one here is going to upgrade it from uh, to the next bit. Is it? Oh, no, I didn't actually mean to do that. Right, we, bring, we need to bring a belt out so that it shows us what we've done. 
And there is the next bit. Right, that is now ready to ease asthma. We want to upgrade it, but we also need to add a catalyst. Now, this is a difficult bit. We need to add a two-point catalyst. You can see that there by the little green symbol. So if we go back to the ingredients, we need to find a two-point catalyst. There is one there. That is a two-point catalyst. We've got one point here at the moment. And to upgrade here, we need two points. Oh, now we've got two points. So we can upgrade that. That's going to give us a discount on our um, ingredients coming in. But that's that doesn't really matter. At the moment, we want this two-point catalyst right here. Uh, we don't have any other two. We've got a 3.1 there. We've got a 4.1. Now, what else have we got? This is relaxants. That's a two-point and a five-point catalyst. That's a uh, three, four, and six. That doesn't have any. Um, a two and a five. I think we're, oh, that needs four explorers. That needs three, and that needs three. So, you know what? I think we're going to go for that one. We'll start accumulating that one a minute. And I need to import this one here, the two-point catalyst. So uh, probably the best place to import is actually through here because it's nice and close. I want to be able to buy some more factory. I'm going to buy that bit there. And I also want to buy that. That's another 14,000. So we want to take a look at some loans, see if we can improve up. But we've got 271 pounds per day spare at the moment. So if I go, that's a pretty good one there. A three-year repayment plan, 125000 altogether. Um, and it's going to cost us 150. So we're still going to be in profit, even though we're using that. So our profit is going to drop down to about £100 per day. But it's given us a load of cash that we can now start using. So we've got that, and we've got this one coming in. And I need to combine that two-point catalyst there with this here. And I need them at, uh, well, I need I then need it at 17 to 20 concentration. So the first thing that we do is we go to auxiliary and we need a multi-mixer. Adds the cures and side effects of one ingredient to another. Um, the centrifuge swaps effects between two ingredients. We don't want to use a centrifuge, not at the moment. Um, so we're going to need the multi-mixer. Now, this is quite tricky to get right, especially when you want to get two of them running. So if we drop that one there and then we drop the next one there i think i can i think we can do it like this so if i bring a belt in i need that to go into that side there and then this one is going to go up and it's going to go into that side there then this one is going to go like that and like that there and it's going to come along Actually, no, I want to get rid of that. It's going to come along here, and it's going to go up there like that. So they should alternate one to the other, and then they go into the multi-mixer. So we put the belt here and here like that. Now, you can toggle the base so that you see, it basically, it decides what comes out the other end. And here we've got coming out the other end, we've got Ease's Asthma, and we've got the... Uh, two-point catalyst and we've got a soothes rash as well so we could have the two combined which would actually be really really useful and then later on maybe we can remove one of these at least instead of both of them i mean sometimes you get the two effects together and you can't actually combine the two because um it, it just doesn't work but we can sort of work around that so the reason i'm doing two is because these take quite a while to process them both so if you have two of them running, you end up getting one ingredient per day, which is what I, I'd like to try to keep everything moving with one ingredient per day. So at the moment, in order to upgrade now, I need to get the total concentration to 17 to 20, and the current is 14. So if I take this belt here and I run that down to that one like that, I would actually delete that and I'll put that one there. And then the... Next, I need to go up by another three, so I will take increase. I will take that one, and I'll drop that down there like that, and I'll put the belt onto there. Now, hopefully, the ingredients will keep going in the right direction. Yes, they are going in the right directions. Everything seems okay at the moment. I'll bring a belt out here. There we go. You're going to let me look at it? There, right. Patitoxin gas, 17. So to upgrade that one there, upgrades, upgrade with an evaporator. 
and that upgrades to prevent acne. Well, we're not going to worry about that at the moment. So the ease is asthma. That is now everything is in position where we want it to be. So we then need to use the dissolver on it. Does that remove? No, that's got to be right down the other end to remove. Um, we now need to put a dissolver on it, and that will upgrade to treat bronchitis. That's kind of the next big thing that we want to do. So I can drop that one right back in that corner out of the way. It may be a problem later on after we... I suppose, actually, no, I can bring that one up there and along there so it's not going to interfere. We can still get to that point there if we need to. So we bring that one out, and we now have this um, glass full of chemical. And we've got Soothes Rash and Treats Bronchitis are very, very similar. We can upgrade again if we use a cryogenic condenser, and that will upgrade to cure tuberculosis. But first, we I mean, we can sell this product right now if we wanted to. Um... Or we could reduce it down by four points, just four points, and then we can cure tuberculosis. I think curing tuberculosis is actually pretty good, because that's quite a serious disease. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to do it. We're going to go for the, the, the big cure, the, the, the orange cure. The orange cure is always one of the difficult ones, but that actually seems relatively simple to get to. So if we reduce the concentration now by four points so that we get to 12... So I want to go to basic and decrease concentration by three first. I'll put that one on there like that. And then I will go to basic and I will go to a dissolver. Now, I've got to be careful how I do it. I'm, that's going to block that one in completely and I'm not going to be able to use it should I need to later on. If I drop it there, see, that's going to be perfect. I can still get to that door if I need to. If I go like that, there we go. So that will bring all of that out. And then I'll bring a belt up there. So we've got this is exomycin oil. And that will go through there. And that will... That's going to be at the right concentration now. So there we go. We can now upgrade to cure tuberculosis if we put it through a cryogenic condenser. That's going to be in advanced. No, it's not. That's still in basic. There we go. Doubles the concentration. So we take that one. I'm going to need two of these. Because, again, this is a... Um, it takes quite a while. You look at the process time. It doesn't actually allow me to mouse down over it. But if you look, it says cost, then process cost, and then process time. The process time is two. Uh, the agglomerator is one. So, like, the autoclave and the condenser, they their process time is two, so they take a bit longer. Some a of them are actually... has released a new product. We've got a new product on the market um, up against us. We're not too concerned about that at the moment. Some of the uh, products, they act, some of the other machines, they actually require um, three rather than just two. Uh, three days to go to go through something. I think new one of them world event. does more than that even. Right, new world event. Uh, antidepressants just treating the symptoms. Healthcare providers need more talking therapies and unmedicated. So if we're making new antidepressants, ingredient discovered. the demand is lowered. And here's our new ingredient. Which means that the ingredients... Now, we've got the explorers. They've come back, which means that they are now going to be generating a few more points. We'll leave them generating points at the moment. Uh, let's go back to our production lines. I need to get these two working. So, we take the belt from here. And I go like that to there. And I go like that to there. I join that one. And then I bring that round to there. That onto there like that. Now... What we're going to need after this is we're going to need that one there. We're going to need the analyzer. So we take that one and we click on move and we put it up there right on the end. And that's going to start analyzing as soon as it gets through the cryogenic condensers. There, look at that stuff there. That looks that looks pretty pretty grim. That does. Up, cannot upgrade. Cures tuberculosis. It's right at maximum at the moment. So we're probably going to have to do something pretty drastic and move it all the way down here. It's not going to be able to soothe a rash at all encourages anxiety we may be lucky because if it's one of these uh, bottom four for the cures tuberculosis it won't actually have any negative side effects whatsoever it's going to be like the perfect product that's what we want that's what we're hoping for we're hoping for this perfect product where we have no side effects whatsoever so we're literally just going to wait for that one to go through what it pays to do every now and then is just check on the rest of your production lines make sure that everything is still working but at the same time you also want to click on the products here. So current profit, 149. That one, current profit is 68. That one is 34. So that one's reducing. The profit on that one's reducing. That one's 40. So it's still holding. And that one there is 127. So they're still holding. They're still doing okay. If we go to company, 
we can then take a look that's what we've got at the moment and there's our current profits on them now that one there is one that we don't release anymore and so is that smile improver there we don't release so we can remove both of those from our list keeps it smooth keeps us up to date with what we're doing these guys have got a uh, various ones so zip remover they got a bronchitis one so i'm kind of glad because that was a bronchitis one that we were looking analysis at analysis complete Oop, no i don't want to go to loans we're currently losing 140 a day but the reason analysis complete there we go right that one is encourage anxiety is way up there that one's right soothes rash that's at the top as well we don't analysis want to soothe rash complete that's the other uh, induces nightmare side effects. So I hope we've got one more side effect to get through. At the moment, everything is making us profit. That's Analysis the important bit. complete. That's the last one. Right. Uh, we want to go to this one and move. Dump that over there a minute. Right. Right at the bottom. The very bottom. So that means this is going to be a perfect drug. There's going to be zero side effects on this whatsoever. So if we go to advanced, this uh, concentration between 1 and 10 increased by 10 um, so this would decrease the concentration by 10 if we use that one. Decimates concentration down to 1, and that's a process time of 2. So we want the ultraviolet cure. That was, that's the perfect thing, because at the moment, our drug is concentration of 20, and we need it to be a concentration of 1. So we, got, we just want to reduce that right down to 1, and then we're done. Um, process time on the ultraviolet cure, uh, ultraviolet cure sorry, is process time of 2. The sequencer is 2. The hadron collider, that's 4. That's big. Collided drugs act as though they're at all concentrations simultaneously. All effects are active, and the concentration component to all reactions is satisfied. Now, that is such a beautiful thing. So long as you can get a drug without side effects. You can occasionally manage to throw one out that doesn't have side effects. Doesn't always work, though. So uh, we're not going to worry about that right now. What we want is we want the ultraviolet cura. And we're going to need two of those running. So in order to do that properly, what we're going to want to do is we're going to need a little bit more space. Now, we could move that. If we, if we were to take that lot and we'd like dump it down there somewhere, it would probably be a little bit easier. Um, but I think it'd just be easier overall if we can have a bit of space up here. And then we can run a belt around uh, wherever we might need to. So we want to go to advanced. We want this one. It's not that big of a machine. So we can just drop it down... I think, actually, yeah, we can drop it there, and we can put that one there like that. And, and we can run the belt through to there, and then up through to there. So then we can go through to the belt. So we actually may not even need that room there. We, we may get away with this. Right, so now if we kind of look through, we've got um, the cryogenic condenser working away, and we've got this black tar-like substance coming through. That looks pretty nasty stuff. I've got to be honest, that really does look like some pretty nasty sort of stuff you, you not something you'd want to mess with there we go cures tuberculosis cannot upgrade we sell for 744 per piece that we sell this is phenomenal looking stuff it really is so all we need to do is increase the value of it as much as possible now a syringe increases combined value by 20 percent increases the strength of all effects by 25 percent so a syringe might be the one combined value by 30% for each positive effect in the drug. Now, the drug is not actually active, and I think that these have got to be active, active effects. Um, the pill printed note, so I think that we're after the syringe injector on this. That's a process time of three, though, and that's the problem. It's also quite a big machine. Um, I mean, if we dump one of those there, it's kind of not really enough room. We can we could put one there, and we could put one there, but then we're not going to have enough room for anything. So now we are going to be glad of the extra space that we got here. So if I do... Now, there's different ways that we could stack these so that we get, like, maximum efficiency. But I think, really, the best way to stack them is going to be one there, one there, and one there like that. That's how we're going to do it. So then we're going to take a belt from this one, and that's going to go straight up into there, and then it's going to go down to there, and it's going to go on down to there. And then this one, go into like that, and it'll go like that. And then that will come out of there. Just like that. Straight out the door. Right. That should work. So we've got the... Uh, cr uh, the ultraviolet cura is busy working away, ultraviolet curing. And then we've then got this, which cures tuberculosis, the inducing nightmares and encouraging anxiety. All of those side effects, they're not currently present in it, so they don't matter. And then we've got the syringe. That one's now starting to work. And this should, in theory, everything should be fine. 
Combined value by 20% to 750. Current profit 437 pounds per thing that we per um, tuberculosis cure that we we produce here. 437. So the combined value is 900 pounds. That is the timer going off to say that it's time to leave. So I think we've done pretty well today, actually. I think I'm, I'm quite pleased with this. We've managed to get a maximum effect drug going out. We are now curing tuberculosis, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty good. That's yeah. It's not a lot of people can say they've done that with a on a um on a Thursday afternoon. But on a Thursday afternoon today, we have cured tuberculosis. You have released a new product. There we go, and this is it. Frithgar tuberculosis stomper, 443 profit. Per syringe, it goes out the door. The combined value is already increasing. That's fantastic. And our ingredients down here, look at that. Look at the profit that is strolling in. That is fan dabby -tastic. That is awesome. Right, so the ingredients that we're using, we're using uh, that one there. So I want to upgrade that one by, you know what, let's, oh no, that's another four points. This is one that we're using most of all. So I want to increase that one. And what else are we using? The hypertension gout, diabetes, uh, antidepressant. I think we're using the antidepressant one, aren't we? Let's just take that one. Okay, that's looking good. We're going to want some scientists because we're going to want to do some upgrades here. There's various different upgrades that we can do. Um, regulatory connections. Um, basically, your drugs are looked upon more favorably, things like that. So, um, But they require 10 scientists to do a lot of these. So, I mean, we, we're going to start we're going to start by hiring a couple of scientists and that'll be sort of ready for next time so that they they've at least started actually you know well, I'll tell you what we'll, gen we'll get three of them we get three scientists there they're now generating us some stuff 180 a day so see, it's not brilliant being 180 a day but our profits at the moment are through the roof with the tuberculosis cure that we've now made this is brilliant right anyway um my question for what game do you want me to play next week your options are banished which is the medieval builder type village game i know that no, i know that it hasn't actually won the vote yet banished and i do keep including it every week and i'm not just including it because i want to play it. i mean i like playing the game I'm including it because it's come second in the vote a number of times now. So I'm thinking there's quite a few people that do want me to play it, which is why I keep including Banished in the list. Uh, Factorio, which played that, we played that last week. Spin Tires, well, you know all about that one. Craft the World, which we played a couple of weeks ago. And then Fortress Craft Evolved, which is that new game I said about last week. Um, well, it's it going to be new to us. It's been out for quite a while now. It's been, it was in early development for a very long time. Um, and it's, it's, it's like Minecraft crossed with Factorio, leaning a lot more towards Minecraft than it is towards Factorio. Um, basically, it's automated Minecraft is, is how I would describe it. Um, New but world there was event. a little bit of interest in that one with the vote from last week, so I thought I would include it again uh, just to see what you thought of it. Um, so, yeah, it's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And, of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. If you enjoyed this episode, please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I'm just quickly going around and checking the profit on everything. Well, I really wish we hadn't bought that. It's such a shame, that room there. I mean, if you could add in like an extra ingredient, you could have put a, a few extra bits in there. It would have been really cool. 128 profit on that one. This one here, 550 profit. And the combined value is shot through the roof on this one. That's fantastic absolutely brilliant we're making so much money over this that is really good um i just no i don't want to do that uh very quickly go to the objectives here so earn a total of six million before um now what if, oh eight hundred and fifty four thousand earned so far so no we haven't got anywhere near six million just yet so we kind of need to do this again. We, we need a lot more drugs but anyway that'll be if we do come back to this game another time anyway um until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.